So this is Mike Farley. We're coming from South Lake, Texas tonight. We have a spectacular project to look at. There are so many details. You're going to have to go under the what is it sections because we don't have time to explain everything. So we wanted clean, neat, and tailored. We wanted to tie the architecture of the home in with the new material, put a little bit of modern flair onto it. We had to solve some horrendous drainage problems on this lot. We actually tore a pool out and uh, tore a sunken cabana out, swim up bar, totally out and started completely over because these people bought the home and it didn't meet their needs. Okay, everybody's different. So in this particular home, we have many children who like to be active outside. And so we needed a space where they could be and just flow on this piece of property. But we needed a pool area as well, but we wanted to tie it in so we could enjoy it from the inside and day and night time. Okay, so one of the things we came in was it just had to be a big pool. This is a diving pool. It's deep down on the end. So if the kids wanted to jump off the planters, they could safely do that. We, we're about safety here. Uh, so as you come in the slide, coming into the pool, the slide makes a great water feature along with some gushers. We're just keeping things simple and understated here. Although we have a really cool splash pad off to the side. You have to look at it, which is far from simple, uh, but it is understated. So we wanted some outdoor living space. Uh, we have an outdoor kitchen. Well, it's really an indoor kitchen that has doors that open up that you can go in and enjoy, whether it's daytime, nighttime, cool weather, hot weather, you know, any time. Uh, so that all opens up into the kitchen space. We have the living space with some storage and a bathroom. We have a slide that we go up with the big green wall with the secret garden behind it. So great slide coming down. We've got a really nice size spa that sits eight people raised so it gives a, a really nice look and some additional seating. We used porcelain tile on all the, the paving out here because we wanted something really clean and simple. We used a large format which you got to look at our details because we worked them out. The math works. All these big pieces add up to the width of the pool. In fact we had to change the width of the pool by like nine inches so all this worked out from the original design. You know front and back and doing all this math. And as I mentioned, this is the pool area. Okay, and then we can go over to the other side of the glass panel fence and we have the kids area, which we have the splash pad, we have the adult fire pit, we have huge lawn areas, we have kid play area, we've got a tennis court, we've got Sherwood Forest, we got all kinds of cool places on this yard. Uh, I don't know where to start. We wanted something that was just clean and simple. We had lots of areas to hang out with, so we got nice patio areas to flow around, whether we're a small group of just the family or if we've got a big group. We've got an outdoor cooking space. I guess we'll just walk around real quick and kind of show you the different spaces and give you some highlights. Okay, we got the cool splash pad here. We got 21 different nozzles that all go uh, in different sequences and patterns to give us a really cool look. You, you need to check out that What Is It video. And then we've got the uh, fire pit where the adults can all hang out, kind of in the center of the space so we can watch people on the patio, watch people on the splash pad, watch people on the tennis court. So it gives us lots of flexibility, whether we're coming from inside, going out, oh, see my nozzles are changing again, patterns changing on this splash pad, it's really cool. So the square pattern's going down. Now the X pattern's going into place. It's really cool. Wait till you see it at night. We've got the trampoline and kids play area way back there. We've got a tennis court area over here. Uh, we've got the cool slide coming down uh, with the metal staircase coming from the big green wall. Oh, behind the big green wall is the secret garden. So then we wander around to the uh, living room cabana uh, with the TV. We've got the spa centered up on the uh, three floating tables. I sure wish my bar stools would come in so I could sit at the floating table. And then we go into the uh, kitchen cabana. And then we've got the tanning ledge and a place to hang out. I mean, this is just a spectacular place. Wouldn't you want to come here on vacation? I think I would. So it's really cool. The spa sits eight people. So it's got lots of areas to sit around. We use really light colored pebble sheen 
on the interior finish. So there's a lot of details about this project. You're going to have to check out the what is it videos because there's so much information we didn't want to make this video too long. So this is Mike. We're coming from South Lake, Texas tonight. Hope you enjoyed this and it was beneficial. Uh, check out the other videos and there's lots of great information, lots of different things on this project to, to kind of look at and you know just figure out how all this works. I, I, Still am amazed. It took us over a year to put this project together, and it is amazing. So uh, we'll talk to you later. Take care.